Hello everyone. Uh, continuing whispering as well. I've done it again. My speaker's really loud. I was listening to music earlier to try and get myself hyped up. Also, just ate a bit of chalk. That was a really bad idea before you start recording. My mouth's so dry. Yeah, oh, I need controller. Fuck this keyboard and mouse jazz. Load! Please. Uh, okay. I was on my way to... there. Haha! <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I really had to take a drink. That chocolate really dried my mouth out. Uh, right, neat. Scally wagging about. Let's just go straight to it. I think I got a telescope lens. I could have looked at my inventory. Yes, I did. It's a dog. Hmm. What about the sir that was in here? Oh yeah, I can't be a ghost down in Mercana. Oh right, it's right there. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh yep. Biznich. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you take in some of the details around you and don't just beeline for the fucking... Well, I guess I didn't have any way of knowing that that was going to be my clue until it started, but... Still. Sure, you're stinky. Oh, wait, I needed to be ghost to understand these, didn't I? I got the achievement, boo, oh yeah. Hey, I'm dead. I just spied the ghost, and I thought, well, okay. Right. <clears throat> Am I meant to climb? I'm probably meant to climb and just kind of descend. I wanted that note, but I couldn't pass underneath the scorpions. Mano. You know that it. John Elkhorn number six of nine. Whoops. There goes my pillow. There's something here. Not quite sure what it is yet. It's like nothing I've ever felt because of a pit in my stomach. I can feel its presence. There's a certain magnetism to it that draws me in. I don't know where it is or where it comes from. I only know that deep inside the mansion, I'm going to try and find it. It's deep inside the mansion. I can't shake the feeling that there's some profound truth lying at the bottom of it all, and I'm here for that re for a reason. The question of what it is will burn inside me forever if I don't find out. Nah, <laughs> died on a ladder. Oh, sorry, I got my note. So where am I do? That's an important question to be asking. Rest your soul. Apparently I just got an achievement for looking at the mic microwave? That is a real weird looking microwave brain. Uh. Oh, 
new, new, new note. Oh, 12 of 13 for Wortham Willows. I am unsure what I have done. It feels as though portions of my being have been ripped from me and recast as dark, shadowy demons. They roam the grounds and I, fear th I feel their presence. I see them scurry about like so many roaches. I do not think that anyone else can see them. As I am the only one who has fluttered with the other side and I have not come back unscathed. I have done what I can to bind and confine them. I do not know how well it will work. I've seen things most men dare not, and I hold that clandestine knowledge. All desire. Life immortal. I do not yet have a means of enacting this longevity. But I know a way. Steel bodies. Is this a body snatcher situation going on? That's the time out chair. <laughs> He's been very naughty. You have to sit and look out the window. Nope, oh, toilet. What an awkwardly shaped house. I don't even know if I'm in the house anymore actually, that's a point. read it over here because there was a crawly dude. John Elkhorn 79. Elkhorn, sorry. I went deeper into the mansion to find the source of the mysterious power that's been calling out to me. I wanted to ignore it, but I just can't. It's on my mind, even when I sleep. Even when having difficulty making my way through the mansion, there's so many doors that are locked I just plain blocked off. There's even a place where the ceiling collapsed. I looked into it. No blueprints for the building exist in public records. I know I'll find my way. It's just going to take some time to feel it in my gut. Go down. Eight of nine. I made it to the mansion score. Didn't know what I expected to find, because all that was there was an empty room. Like the scores of others. I feel uncomfortable there, but other than that, I don't think it's special in any way. This pit still lingers in my stomach though. It's a foreboding feeling that reminds me of some imagined looming punishment. I spent as much time in the room as I could, looking for clues to what I was feeling, but there was nothing. Though I don't even know whether to abandon my search or not. Now I don't even know whether to abandon my search or not. I don't know. I feel so hopeless all of a sudden. I just want to see my family. waiting that appearing in the water so I can just dip down. Side, so straight down. Oh, billiards. Weapon chemical creature. I know what those demons are now. They're pieces of Wortham's corrupt soul, and they have minds of their own. He delved into errors he shouldn't have. He sought knowledge not meant for man's mind. What resulted is his fractured soul and these 
his most beloved children. I have to be careful around them. They act like Wortham's guard dogs, and I can't let them catch me. They'd rip me to shreds if they did. Work our way down, just quickly on check the map. Yeah. I reckon I must be coming near the end of this then, yeah. Get down. Get down. Thank you. No, note. Johnny out of corn 99. I don't know what's going on anymore. I've been losing portions of my days here at the mansion and I don't know why. I feel at times I'm being followed. I hear whispers in my ear. When I look, no one's there. The other day, I found myself inside the catacombs, staring at the door. Couldn't remember how, how I'd got in there. Last thing I remember doing before that was trimming some hedges. I woke up here this morning. I'm not sure if I made it a home. I'm not even sure if I made it home. I must have. My memory's so hazy. Make sure to call home. I have to talk to my family. Don't know why, I just have to. Hmm. Needs his weapon. I had so much I wanted to record today, but I'm starting to get a really bad headache. <laughs> Running really behind. Yeah, sir, can I borrow this? Alright. Basing it on the pictures, by the way, in case it wasn't obvious. Maybe it needs to be a bit more... Maybe it's because the pictures are upside down, maybe it does just legit need to be upright. Oops. I was overthinking it. A miss! Like a good miss. Achievement Nightlight. Well, I don't like that statue, but alright. No added. 13 of 13. Time has come. I've preferred my estate to survive when I'm gone, and so it shall. For generations to come, all locals will know my name. I'm the founder of this town, <coughs> and I'm not done with it yet. Immortality is within my grasp. Simply to reach out and take it. After that, time will mean nothing to me as I continue to search within the ether for a way to see my Martha. In the end, you get what I desire. I always do. All I need now is a suitable host. In my youth, I aimed to wipe out the Quantaco. I'm happy to say I failed in my endeavours. One day, a descendant of that foolish shaman will happen upon these grounds. When that day comes, I know I will know my salvation. I shall be but the spider, and he the fly. I'll wring him power in his blood and absorb what I will. My time will come soon enough. I'm beyond the laws of this mortal coil, and neither man nor woman will stop me. You're a bit of a dick, aren't you? So where am I now? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm just going back up to Dade. But to what end? I, I can't even see the ghost anymore. I'm not just going to get like insta jibbed. The other side. This is it. Wortham and my dad are on the other side of the door. I can feel it. But I'm done being scared. It's time for strength. My dad needs me. I'm not going to let him down this time. I don't care what I have to go through. He's my father. I won't let anyone take him away from me, no matter what. Wortham, I hope you're as ready for me as I am for you. What are you going to do, though? What are we in? Are we going to stab him? I 
I, I just don't know. You're suggesting that somehow I'm ready for them, but I've, I've not actually done anything in ways of preparations. You made it back, without your amulet even, but you're too late, you can't stop me. I don't care what you say, I'll save my dad no matter what. Well, it's chilled. I shall feed you a taste of my misery. See the past and know my pain. You don't understand, she meant everything to me. She was the mother of my son, my life's love, and you, you just remind me of her. Now I betray her each moment we're together. Please, Wilson, please. I love you, don't do this. Blur Fleur. I can't do it anymore. I won't. I won't disgrace her any longer. You're disgusting, you're a dick. Just repeating the dialogue. Yes, I'm trying. I must tell you something. I'm with child. It's yours with them. We're going to have a family together. She was pregnant? No! What have I done? Martha will never wanted my happiness. You could have had that. What have I done? Doesn't matter. It was doomed from the start. See more of my life's horror. I don't want any. I, I don't care. I genuinely want you to be in pain. Thank you kindly for having me over for drinks. <laughs> Worth them. I haven't socialised in ages. I time, I'd say. Of course, old friend. It's indeed been too long. And you've been dearly missed. <laughs> I've watched your troubles grow. Aye, that they have. I've missed you too, Wortham. You'll have to meet more regularly here on out. Certainly will, Darby. One final drink to ease your pain. Best friend of mine. That's a really ominous way to phase that, but alright. Use the rifle and blow him head, blow his head off. God's sake, Darby, you drunk. Show some class, man. Stay here in. I've observed your degradation these past months with distaste. You're right, my friend. You always are. You've been so good to me. And here I've disgraced myself. I know well enough a burden I am. Burden, eh? I found one for that. If I'd known you'd turn out this way, I know not what to think anymore. I haven't been myself lately. I had it planned to take my life this evening while you slept, but your invitation with them it gave me hope, you see. That told you, Wortham. But the wee girl I killed, she haunts me. There's just dreams starting out. But any more I see her in the... But any more I see her in the waking hours. Okay. <laughs> it's then I feel the hellfire licking... at my haunches. My cooking skin reeks of brimstone, friend. I can hear perdition as it sings to me in the night. I 
I do these things. I didn't have to die, my poor Darby. How did I fall so far from grace? Is that Dan Shaman who tricked me with his vile necromancy? Your ancestor! Know what your kind has done to me. Nothing. Fucking dillweed. Hey, it's my boy! Is what you say true? Can you help me see my wife again? Yes, but your spirit must first be scoured. Are you prepared for that? Tell me what to do in medicine then. That's a big cake. First you must sever your earthly ties. You must let go of your wife's memory. And then will you be able to see her again? These candles will protect us from the darkness. How well? I'm here, Wortham. I've missed you, my love. Life is too hard without you. How can I continue on? Here for you always, Wortham. Now that you know how, you can see me whenever your life seems too difficult for you. Live your life right, raise our son well. Goodbye for now, my love. Love you, Martha. Now and forever. Yeah, I've helped me see things clearly, Elena. See you there of my ways. It's not too late for me. I shall finally see what the afterlife holds. Goodbye, Elena. Uh, your afterlife holds uh, darkness and misery. Bye, Wortham. May your soul rest in peace. Is Elena? Dad, get away. What happened? What are you doing here? Long story, Dad. But don't worry. Tell you about it in a way, him. with the turtle. <laughs> Tiny dog. Tiny cat.
Hooray! Well, let's see then. I take it I would have got all of these. Uh, control? Ah, oh, right, okay. Uh, notes. I got everything for worth them. One, two, I missed one. One John Elkhorn. I got all the Darbies, I got all the Flares. I got all of them. So I missed one note for Dad. No bad, no bad. Well, I enjoyed that. Good wee game. Um, I ended very suddenly there, I don't know why, I, I, I kind of... At one side I felt like there was going to be more, but on the other hand it's sort of like... I think any more of it would probably stayed as well, because I think the game's just been the perfect length. No preamble, just go on, wait and go. Um, I don't really have much to say in regards to what what I felt about the game because I just like I just really enjoyed going through the wee storyline scenes and wandering and talking to the ghosties. There was a few bits where I'm just I was just hopelessly lost, just walking backwards and forwards. Um, and I wish there was a bit more follow up with some of the other ghosts, like you could have made all of them rest in peace, because some of them moved on, some of them are still just kind of floating around. Like, uh, Mrs. O'Holloran. When you get Darby to pass on, she's still just talking about being worried about Darby. I, I wish there would have been a bit more like, well now that Darby's moved on, you could go speak to her. Ah, he's finally at peace, now I can be at peace. <laughs> there was also that one dotty B guy that couldn't get his pal into the the conservatory and just decided, well, I guess I'm going to stay here and die. Like, <laughs> what the f <laughs> Nothing better to do with eternity, so I'll just haunt this one bit, lamenting the fact I couldn't get my pal into a garden house. Oh well. That'll do it for me anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it. Because I, I did. I did. It's not a flawless experience, but it's it's still really, really good. Nice wee story. It did have a nice wrap up at the end. Do I think the dude deserves a nice wrap up at the end? No. But that's not how it was wrote. And it's not really my place to say that kind of thing either. I'm just, I've got a headache, so I'm in a spiteful mood. Anyway, good luck. Take it easy.